Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to The Rock Top. My name is Phil and today we are going to discuss everything new that we've learned from the 2022 Starship update. On the evening of Thursday, February 10th, 2022, Elon Musk finally gave us another Starship Update presentation after almost two years. Obviously, a lot has changed in the meantime. For example, the idea of Mechazilla didn't exist in 2019, but in 2022, Elon gives us an update in front of a fully assembled one with an orbit-capable Starship stacked onto the launch mount. During the presentation, we got a deeper look into the development process of the world's most advanced launched vehicle and, of course, we got shown different ideas, design decisions and more. So, what was actually new? In terms of what I expected and what we got on Thursday, the new Starship update was actually a bit underwhelming. Many things Elon talked about were just repetitions from earlier presentations or already known, such as all the philosophy stuff he talked about for almost 15 minutes at the beginning. But we got some nice confirmation about things we already assumed. Among these things are mainly news about new facilities. The leaked building plans for the robots road area near the Kennedy Space Center are indeed a second Starship and Super Heavy manufacturing plant which is going to build the starships that launch from the Cape. Along with the production facility, the Mechazilla at LC-39A is already being worked on and a launch license has already been acquired years ago. Therefore, SpaceX could use LC-39A as the launch pad in case uh, the FAA wouldn't grant them the license for Starbase. Concerning this launch license, Elon stated that the FAA is expected to release the finished environmental review in March and grant SpaceX launch clearance. A release date in March hints towards a further pushback of the release, which is currently scheduled for February 28, but we don't know whether Elon meant the beginning or the end of March, so we can't be sure about this all. He also confirmed that launch is going to happen in the first half of 2022, in case the FAA finishes in March, and that the first launch will be conducted by Ship 20 and Booster 4, so no other vehicles like Booster 7, it is finally said it's Ship 20 and Booster 4. Furthermore, SpaceX wants to launch first Starlink satellites on board Starship already this year, meaning the cargo door design will be featured on one of the next Starship prototypes. A first orbital refilling test is set for late 2023, and the Dear Moon mission is going to happen somewhere after that, likely in 2024. There weren't any updates on Mars mission timelines, probably because Elon's time estimates are just always wrong. <laughs> Maybe the most exciting part of the presentation was the segment about Raptor 2. Not only got me shown first official images of Raptor 2, we also got some nice comparisons between V1 and V2, as well as a video of a Raptor 2 test firing at McGregor. They even had a real Raptor 2 there, and as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner than the current Raptor 1. Much of the piping and pre burner setup is still the same, but almost everything else just disappeared. All the small pipes and cables, as well as some of the valves, are just gone, making the new Raptor look lighter, cheaper, and even smaller. I still think the Raptor 2 looks kinda illegal, not even like a typical rocket engine without all this stuff, it's too simple. But apart from footage, we also got some updated thrust numbers for the Raptor 2 and to our surprise, it doesn't deliver the envisioned 230 tons, but instead already exceeded this number and reached 247 tons on a test stand. Furthermore, we got some information about the development and production progress of the new Raptor, with Elon stating to have almost finished the design of Raptor 2, but still having to fix some issues involving the combustion chamber melting itself. Doesn't sound good. The production rate of the new engine is stated to be one engine a day by pretty much this week. 
We also got updated stats for both Starship and Super Heavy. For Starship, everything stayed pretty much the same, but Elon confirmed that future Starships featuring six Raptor vacuum engines will stand taller than the original 50 meters. Super Heavy, on the other hand, is now officially stated to be 69 meters tall instead of the original 70, which is a pure coincidence, as Elon stated, but still nice. Nice. Additionally, the official payload mass estimate has been increased from 100 tons to a new maximum of 150 tons. During the presentation, SpaceX also released a new render of a potential crewed Mars mission on board Starship. This render is pretty interesting, since it shows the current Starship and Super Heavy designs, but some minor details differ from what we know. For example, the new forward flap design Elon hinted at a few months ago isn't incorporated in this render, so either the design was scrapped or the render was wrong. Both possibilities seem a bit odd to me. The latter option appears to be the more realistic one though, since the ship in the animation also has only 6 engines instead of the leaked 9 Raptors on future starships. And the last thing Elon talked excessively about is orbital refueling or orbital refilling as he prefers to call it. The engineers at SpaceX are trying to get the propellant capacity for the tanker starships up to 200 tons so that refilling operations require less launches. Once in orbit, the tankers will dock to other ships using their quick disconnect panel beneath the raceway on the leeward side of the ship which is also used to fuel the starship um, on, with the launch tower. The whole refilling process is set to be tested in late 2023, being just enough time to perfect it until the HLS missions in 2025 or maybe even later. I mean, it's the Artemis program that always gets pushed back. And that's about it for the new or updated stuff. Let me know in the comments should you find anything that I forgot. And if you enjoyed the video, which I really hope you did, why don't you hit the like button and subscribe to the Rocket Tab. It would really help me a lot. We see ourselves in the next video, and until then, I'm out. Cheers!